Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn about how to record the maze path uh, whenever the robot traverses the path. So let's get started. In this, uh, as we have seen in our earlier video, uh, we have already instantiated the motor instances uh, across three and four. So currently, as of now, we are interested in recording the path. So for that, we need to first of all define a string. So let me show you quickly how this is done so the first thing we need uh, to record a path is to have some sort of container so i have uh, decided to use some string called path so i have defined it just before the setup and now i'm going to use this path variable which is a string variable in itself uh, across some condition so we need to continuously monitor the path so uh, what i'll do is i'll simply try to paste um, the string called path somewhere and then i'll be showing you how to record the path by updating it all the time so as you can see i have only instantiated it i haven't initialized it yet so let me show you okay so let me consider any condition like as we have seen in the previous video uh, the possible ways of identifying the junctions so uh, here we got a condition written uh, with the help of an if loop where we are assessing whether the forward moving condition is attained or not. Uh, let me scroll this down a little bit so that you can see the complete condition. Okay, so here is the condition. We have 14 as low if you're able to see the negation sign there. So I want 14 as low, 15 sensor as low, 16th and 17 as high and 18th and 19th as low so irrespectively uh, with uh, i mean irrespective of the last and the first sensors also we can write these conditions i mean i can simply form the same condition for moving forward just with the help of uh, the sensors 15 16 17 18 or either of these four sensors can be eliminated for instance i can write a forward condition with the help of 15 16 and 18 itself because 16 and 17 are placed uh, in a vertical fashion so what i need to just check for moving ahead is i need the left sensor to be on a white surface the in between sensor at 16 or 17 on a black surface and then sensor 18 on a white surface again so whenever uh, the sensor is on a white surface it gives us a zero output that's why we are checking it for uh, negative uh, digital 18 means by default if it is zero then uh, we'll be getting a zero being replaced with this one okay now uh, we want a similar kind of condition to be set here now what I'll do is for instance if we assume that this particular condition is true it will be giving me a one now having said that this particular condition is set i need to move forward so before moving forward uh, what i'll do is i'll update the path so currently path holds nothing but now i'll be writing simple uh, way of adding some content to the path so this is a simple concatenation operator in uh, Arduino. so a simple plus sign can append any data to the given string variable so as we are moving ahead i'll be using s to indicate that uh, i'm moving forward so you need to just take care uh, whenever you're writing this code um, in our upcoming videos that this s will not be repeated i mean as you can see in the front condition whenever we are calling front what happens is the robot moves forward for just 100 milliseconds and then it gets released and then again it goes back to the forward condition here and the condition becomes true again and then we need to eliminate this somehow like s will not be s uh, for instance if uh, our robot is intending to move forward for about one second then uh, the same if condition will be called 10 times so that 100 into 10 will become 1000 so the delay overall delay is going to be one uh, 1000 and it is going to move 10 times 
So what you will observe is you will find 10s uh, being appended to the path. So we need to, uh, I mean, we need to violate this somehow. So we'll discuss about this particular problem uh, whenever we are writing the final code for our robot of solving the maze. In the meanwhile, what we can do is I'll just inf show you how to append the string. So this is where exactly uh, we need to write this. Now, alternatively, you can write this in a different fashion, which is more much, which is considered to be much more optimized. So what I'll write as path plus equals to s. So basically, this statement which I have commented and this one both mean the same. So it is simply an indication that path is appended with path plus this particular RHS character, whatever you're inserting in, uh, in between these single quotes. So similarly, I'm going to copy this and for a reverse condition, I'll write this as B. So we'll be using uh, the literal called B for indicating a reverse condition or a back moving condition. Similarly, we need to write L for moving left and right for moving right. So this is how we generally record the path so that whenever the robot identifies the condition, it will move right, but before that, it will also append a character uh, to the string called path. So if you assume now uh, that you have uh, written this program and your robot has first of all moved left and then has moved right and then it has moved straight twice and then it has moved left again so this is the pattern which you are getting here so by the end of this particular iteration uh, before the robot scans down the overall maze path and then it halts finally this is the path the highlighted part uh, is what is going to be recorded inside the variable called path but here you need to make sure that the recorded path is nowhere stored. Uh, I mean, we are not using any EP-ROM libraries or we are not going to store it permanently on any some any sort of uh, SD cards or permanent memory. So you need to take care that whenever your robot has scanned the complete path, you are not resetting uh, your robot. Otherwise, the scanned path will be lost. So currently what's happening is uh, your robot instances are initiated with the help of the motor shield uh, library functions and then we have a couple of conditions here which are scanning for the paths uh, that are coming in between the robots path and then we are also recording the path by updating this path string variable again and again whenever it comes across uh, or whenever it crosses a junction and finally whenever it halts what we have is we have some sort of uh, path already stored in the path variable so that's all about this video and in the next video we'll be writing a complete code uh, from scratch and I'll show you exactly how to deal with the rest of the aspects like violating the repetitive conditions like what we have discussed now. Thank you.